Welcome to the Maximize Business Value Podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition their business on their terms. Our mission was born from the lessons we've learned from over 100 business transactions, which fuels our desire to share our experiences and wisdom so you can succeed. Now, here's your host, CEO, Mastery Partners, Tom Bronson. Hi, it's Tom Bronson, and welcome to Maximize Business Value, a podcast for business owners who are passionate about building long-term sustainable value in their business. I've said it every week for the last 40 weeks, because this is the 40th episode tied to my book, and that is every business on the planet will eventually transition. Don't you want your business to transition on your terms rather than having those terms dictated to you because something happens? Well, if you're that guy and you want to learn how to build massive value and transition your business on your terms, you found the right place. This is Holy Cow, episode number 200 of the Maximize Business Value podcast. And it is about my, it's, we're walking through an audio version of my second book, Maximize Business Value Playbook, 65 Specific Things to Dramatically Improve the Value of Your Business. Today, we are on number 40, Outsource or Rent Assets Outside of the Core Business. Now, if a business can afford to outsource a service less expensively than performing it in-house and maintain at least as high a quality standard, then outsource. But that doesn't mean the business will automatically benefit, so it pays to make sure that outsourcing is a good fit first. Maintaining quality is a crucial factor in that decision, and that includes people. There are a couple of reasons why I bring this particular thing up. For example, many tech firms rushed to outsource technical support to Asia and India 20 years ago because of the reduced labor cost of those countries. The economics of outsourcing was so tempting that I even made a run at it around 2004. Our business offered 24-hour support to our customers. Staffing that after our support desk was difficult and expensive in our tiny little company. So we decided to outsource after hours and weekend support. Now, initially, that seemed like the right move. Our support desk personnel were happier because they had more time off without the need of being on call on a rotating basis. And the foreign support desk seemed to be responsive to our customers. Now, over time, however, our after hours calls dwindled to a minimum and our regular shift support desk calls doubled. Essentially, in the early morning hours, or especially, I'm sorry, in the early morning hours when we first opened. We found that the customers didn't think they were getting a sufficient support from our outsourced desk. So they just migrated to calling during regular business hours. Now, eventually, it got to the point where we abandoned outsourcing because it was no longer cost effective. Ultimately, it damaged our reputation in the marketplace, something that reduced the value of our business. Now, When a function is outside of the company's core business, unlike what I just described, then every attempt should be made to outsource it. This situation applies particularly if the business is starting a new venture outside of its core competency. Moving away from the core competency can be viewed as a distraction and is typically more expensive than first thought. I would calculate the ROI both ways before investing. If the return is two times longer to start in-house than outsourcing, I would consider outsourcing first, then eventually bringing that function in-house later if that made sense. Now, starting something new within three years of uh, planned exit event, that is just plain risky. See chapter 16 on making capital investments earlier in this book for clues on that. My MBB actions this week, number one, Identify anything that can be outsourced and research ways to do it. Dip your toe in the water before you jump in the deep end, though. 
Number two, outsource services that the uh, when the opportunity will increase efficiencies and decrease costs. And number three, search the internet for best practices for outsourcing. There is a wealth of knowledge out on the internet. Next week, we'll talk about doing monthly and random inventory cycle counts as we get into the exciting world of inventory. This is the Maximize Business Value podcast, where we give practical advice to business owners on how to build long-term sustainable value in your business. If this is the first time, episode 200 is the first time you found us, welcome. We've been waiting for you. And there are 199 other episodes just waiting to download wherever you found this podcast. Like and subscribe and give us comments. We reply to everything. Also, if you happen to be listening to this podcast when it first came out in early 2024, don't forget to register for the Business Transition Summit on May 7th at the Charles Schwab headquarters in Westlake, Texas. Don't miss this great opportunity to network with like-minded business owners, uh, have world-class speakers, and work on your business rather than in your business for just one day. Register today at businesstransitionsummit.com. And if you'd like a special discount code, just email, text, or call me. I'll be happy to give you one. Until next time, I'm Tom Bronson reminding you to pick one thing, and I don't care what it is, just one thing. I've already given you 40 things, just one thing to maximize the value of your business and start working on it today while you maximize business value. Thank you for tuning into the Maximize Business Value podcast with Tom Bronson. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition on their terms. Learn more on how to build long-term sustainable business value and get free value-building tools by visiting our website, www.masterypartners.com. That's master with a Y, masterypartners.com. Check it out. That was perfect. I wouldn't make any changes on that.